Hi, I'm Woodsy, and this piece is called When the West Went to Rehab. When the West went to rehab, the tests all got revamped. The celebs had a relapse and the rest they can see that, so please clap. Clap for Mother Nature as she enters her recovery. Stand up for the wonder that comes after the worrying. Humans are going into isolation. Hibernation, defined by enough lies that could hide a nation. Train my track so much I could buy the station. Standing stationary with my stationary. They'll say I'm ready on the day they get me. It's like supermarkets looking less super. It's like Thanos snapped all the Ubers. Can't go to the pub, so you turn my house to a wine house and ask Amy about the future. Look, I heard him say, that nothing's ever promised tomorrow today. They cut circulation off, now we suffer in vain. They'd be watching the throne but can't weather the rain. I woke up saying I feel better today, ahead of the game. Oh, but of course, the government went and put us all on pause. Families dying whilst disease on tour. They cancelled jobs and they cancelled sport. They could cancel my life and they could cancel yours. Just at the push of a button. They can destroy countries like ant hills and wonder why we're bugging. Human race, yeah, they got us running. Running up walls inside of our minds like life is a game. Show me to save my life, please. Add five, vote for me. COVID-19's like it's a no from me. Boulevard of broken dreams on these lonely streets. And I pray for greener days. Where American idiots don't lead the race of humanity Managing all of us panicking, queued like mannequins Go to the store and then back again Don't know what they got in store for the masses and I just want to breathe Without worrying about someone that I care about's next breath It's like my GPS is saying the valley of the shadow of death is on your next left You can't turn back now This is where you turn Maybe this really is a dead end I didn't audition to be on an episode of Black Mirror, so I'm kind of confused. I wouldn't have done this role even if they paid me five Gs. I don't know about you. Thank you. In the summer 2019, Roy Adrian Curtis was found in his cupboard. He had been there for nine months. He was a gay man of color and was left behind. A closet goodbye for Roy Adrian Curtis. You close the door hoping your eyes peel off the sun against God's eyes. You lay your final bed, put out your last cigarette, sit from a cracked teacup to playlists singing you to sleep. With yourself, Inside, goodbye notes typed. Instinctual hands, constant, like shattered faith. Upward to a tinged answer for despair. The damselfly admiring your breath, as if waiting for summer to leak out of the corrugated memory of August. You describe the body dancing in a bedroom the rain rains so gently, it's devastating. Your hands downward to a dyed corpus of abandon. You close the door, 
with yourself inside. To chase the gleam opening somewhere where sand castles float above the sea. A magician sits with their books under a bridge, analyzing a tool, brushing the fire, naming the wreckage. Is it you? Steps away from the protest, passing a flower to someone. See, I'm in a juxtaposition. Things are going so right, but my inner sense of living is going so left. In fact, it's barely lighting up. The constant back and forth of emotions making me feel like bipolar was likelihood feature. Never being happy when you achieve success because you set yourself on constant incline. Raising the bar is no longer a motivational pep talk. It's ingrained in my veins. The tattoo to my ethos. It's in the bop to my walk. See, let me talk. It's an everyday norm when your biggest enemy in the mirror is yourself looking back at you, telling you what's next. Ticking off one girl, then be ticking off the rest. See, for some, your ticked off goal is an achievement in its own right. See, many wish they could place some of your talent and place it into their own pie. But who am I to be immune to praise? Because the levels are no longer levels to amaze me. The setbacks, the kickdowns, the step backs, the letdowns have made me only work at my own peak, only work to my own strength. The nature of survival of the fittest translates to me as if my life depends on getting through the next stage well, me I've invested my eggs into the one basket but when life is in the up I struggle to feel elevated I struggle to contain the need to brush it to the side like my parents do see getting a first job to your first child graduating first child embracing languages first child speaking out becomes the black sheep of the family when they don't have anything in common with you anymore as you've developed into someone so different to how they have imagined the convos around the family room dining room become as fake as your friends on Instagram see the way they see you you versus you versus you versus you versus who is a question mark I place every time a conversation is made. I feel the burning anger bubble as constructive conversations become a burst of anger and emotion. You're an adult now, so you're in control of doing what you want to do. That phrase I can't take so lightly as in a reality of you becoming new becomes a mere distance of common ground. Parents married 34 years for half my parents, for half my friends. That's a wish they never had. A stable, supportive family, comfortable living, cute little bends on the drive. They turn around, say name and you live in the life. But behind the glass, porch door, the echoes of a silent house, yet filled with three bodies but the voice of just one mouth is the irony. The feeling of being left out as the family that moves in a pre-established group ever heard the saying two's company and well three's a crowd. Well I guess I let myself out, I let myself be, breaking out of the nest not because you choose to rebel, not because you can choose to be yourself is a tough exit to make. Because if you fly wrong, you burn some bridges. Your resources to build it back up might fall on a short stick. And that ends up going to your short list, your short days, end of the week. But my week hasn't ended, end of the week for me. Constantly regretting every hour, not wasted, if not transformed into something of progress. I'm addicted to succeeding. I'm blowing up everything I put myself into. Credit where credit is due is a phrase and a concept way overused. In fact, for a goal addict, that feeling of satisfaction, sitting back on a high wave and embrace the rewards as terminology way overdue. Your passions and talents make you feel ever so on edge. Cause so many, they say, fix out yourself onto one craft and do it down well. Well, I'm sorry, my craft is the art of doing many things down well. And now my mind is on hyperdrive. The temptation to start another project 
project, set myself another set of goals to fulfill them well and move on to a better self is an addiction. I admit it, I'm an addict in pursuing everything I ever wanted at any given time of every given hour. Progress looks at me and awaits because the side effects are going home to a silent house with silent supporters who have no idea you've been suffering in silence as you come to platforms like this to perform. See, for you, this is a performance. For me, it's about being listened to, but also being heard. See, my fear is not failure anymore. My fear is knowing I can't be myself within myself and I'm surrounded with myself anymore. Because you challenge yourself to be changed to the change of your parents who don't choose to love or hate. They are morally assigned to you until further notice. Yet, morally speaking, I wish for the days my parents turned around and asked the dates of my next performance. Because the last one you came to, guys, was in 2005. But, but I promise you, dear parents, my art has grown since then. But until then, grab an updated skybox and tune into my life for a second. But I still battle in silence and struck the position because the addiction to succeed is due to not being given credit when credit is due so I assume I must achieve more until I hear the words you smashed it let's go out and celebrate but still I wait I wait here still awaiting and hope one day you will open your ears and tune in because your child right here I promise you has got a beautiful tune Staring at these old grey walls Wishing, hoping that they'll fall away for you I'm thinking back to times gone by Brings a tear right to my eye I pray for you Cos it was never gonna be enough And there's one thing on my mind I never felt strong enough Hope you have the heart to find Life after love is gone Can be hard enough to take But love when you let it go Is our number one mistake I lay awake all day in bed Pictures of you in my head They talk to me The memories of days more fun From the winter till spring comes I'll wait for you Cos it was never gonna be enough And there's one thing on my mind I never felt strong enough Hope you have the heart to find Life after love is gone Can be hard enough to take But love when you let it go Is our number one mistake It always happens Way too young And showed it before My life had just begun I've never seen Life is cold, a story never to be told, a story never to be told. Cause it was never gonna be enough, and there's one thing on my mind. Guess I never felt strong enough, hope you have the heart to find. Life after love is gone can be hard enough to take But love when you let it go is a number one mistake Cause it was never gonna be enough And there's one thing on my mind Cause I never felt strong enough Hope you have the heart to find Life after love is gone can be hard enough to take But love when you let it go
home. What is home to you? Conceptualised or true? Everything or nothing? A place you love or a place you're stuck in? We make a home in what we do. We build a life, we dream it true. I made a home beside of you. You killed a dream, I'll see it through. It seems the older you get, the less people relate to you. The less friends have got time to wait for you. I thought I knew home, a place to be safe where not just I, but everybody understood me. Turns out that reality is malleable. The insignificance of our existence is tangible. And with the current state of financial affairs for youth in our city unsalvageable, I'd like to know how you people even consider building a home manageable. I mean, the homes we build are breakable, but the one already provided is safe for all. Provided we stop with the legal violence, end drilling inside it, disastrous mining, mess with the world's natural wiring while banning psilocybin and wonder why the world needs enlightening. These oxymoronic traditions get tiring. These corporates need inspiring. We need to support the youth's enlivening because they've stolen our home, but this shit is not over. The world's getting hot, then the world's getting colder. Then we need children that are bolder than men to rewrite the script so we can begin again. Because there is still a chance that we create home, a community that will last, dance and thrive in global unity. No soul will feel alone, no body imprisoned. That's how we'll all be living when we create a peaceful system, empty of greed so every entity is free. Oh, what a time, I can't wait to be alive when we throw harmonies instead of weapons in the skies. Oh, what a time, I can't wait to be alive when we throw harmonies instead of weapons in the skies. Hi, I'm Yossi, I'm a spoken word poet. Um, I guess for everyone it's been a challenge. For me personally, the last six months has, um, has been upsetting to watch the world um, in such uh, contradictions and in such pain. Um, however, personally, I have managed to keep my mental health okay by making sure I continue to see my friends and speak to people and be involved in creative and uh, active activities. Uh, taking part in an event like today is massively important to me and for anyone else who can because we need to build community and sharing art is one of the most important ways of doing that. So um, yes, one of the pieces in particular, a piece named Home, was inspired by um, a project I did with a, a group of marginalised young people, a lot of whom were refugees and migrants, um, and that project was uh, that piece was inspired by the project which was about really sharing what home is to you and the realisation that home isn't really a place for many people. Home is, is inside or to do with the people you are around. Um, another piece I've formed is uh, very much inspired by the, the contradictions that fulfil our society at the moment. Um, for example, the materialism which is sort of advertised and pushed into everyone's faces while we also are at the same time trying to encourage people to uh, be sort of socially engaged good people and to uh, be spiritual and empower themselves but that's so hard to do when we have this disgustingly materialistic sexualized culture that's thrown in our face all the time um, and one of the pieces is kind of about that. I was always in the corner but never in the ring but now this is my call in mental health I'm answering I'm in now you got me on the line, but never had me on the ropes. It's an uphill battle and I'm coping with the slopes. Taking more steps, making progress, I'm focused. I'm training all the time from being so stressed, emotions just playing on my mind. I don't think that I'm depressed, but I know that I'm not happy. Just because I'm smiling on the outside doesn't mean inside that I'm not angry, because I am and I do feel down. Sometimes I just wanna scream and say it out loud. But you know what it's like, that's not allowed You're a man, be proud They'll be telling you man up Until they're screaming man down Saying why didn't he speak up Because you put the man down Man down, man down, man down Suicide is on the rise and they're surprised by the figures Well numbers don't lie like the smiles in your pictures You've been soul searching till you're itching all the blisters Put a filter on your feelings, hear them screaming in the distance Man down, man down, man down 
Have you ever been down in the depths of a dark place? Where the silence is so loud you can hear your heart race It's like you're in a car chase but the lights are on red You partake in heartache, text sent left on red Going from missed out, to missed calls, to missing, to I miss them You can't put a filter on your feelings Hear them screaming in the distance, man down, man down, man down now I'm trying, I'm training, I'm taking my time Testing my brain and my body I'm aiming for heights from the lows And I'm focused on goals on my growth So let's go and we'll grow and we'll learn And we'll turn it around Hear the sound of a smile in my voice When I'm speaking for a while I was down but never out And now I'm proud of how I'm feeling And now I'm breathing This is more than boxing This is more than sport this is the fight against our mental health and this is fighting talk It's not always about the KO It's about being okay Sometimes you have to say no, we know it's gonna be okay Speak to your friends Trust me, it helps It's not a bad thing to talk about how you felt Fighting mental health Let's take our first steps It's not about how many times you knock a man down but all the times he gets up and prepares for what's next. Thank you. The gallery that snows after Hamza. Sending my help whenever you need and all the names of the blades of grass we gazed over water sparks out of your calf and drips downward I kneel to drink kissing your wound a thirst we can name together you hold the top of my head gathering the shape of my skull, my back ache shifts. We sketch perspectives of drowning and call it embodiment, yielding to what we should unlearn about ourselves. The bad joke continues. I craft a vein from my spit, call it a lantern, and you'll blow it out, snatching my name. How quickly it came to this, this killing of colourful lights, someone's brightly shaded memories transfigured into wallpaper. A gallery without a clear exit filling up with snow, a door under water, the water forgetting how to ripple. I sent you without a return address some help. I gaze over a blade of grass without a name. Water sparks out of my calf. I bruise downward. So my name is Carlos Mauricio Rojas. I'm a poet and artist and performer. Um, that's a big question. Uh, the one thing I can think of right now, because it's been a wave of all sorts of different feelings and emotions and how, how do I respond to a thing. I've been in isolation with my parents who have underlying health issues. So 
for me, it has been a thing of like, I've had to put myself secondary for a lot of the time and care for the people um, around me and um, yeah, at home. So um, it's been a lot of like, really trying to figure out how do I be fully responsive to some, to the things around me and to the news that's always changing. So I really have to, yeah, I think it has been a thing of like, my mental health has come second, which is probably not the best thing, but also I am someone who does care for people. That's kind of who I am as a person. I'm very put people before myself. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, <laughs> but I guess it's always ever changing with a pandemic. So yeah, it's difficult to pin down. Taking part in an event like this is very important because we have been in a situation where access to art and finding spaces where we can express ourselves and continue to like work as well has just, it's the whole pandemic has halted a lot for so many artists. So um, being able to do this for ourselves as artists and for other people where they can feel less alone and feel that they can actually speak about their feelings and emotions, what they're going through, is super important. Um, it's vital, if anything, to our general survival and how we're gonna move forward to do better for the future. Um, so, my first poem called A Closet Goodbye uh, was written in response to this news article I read last year in 2019, uh, a gay man of colour was found dead in his closet and he had been there for nine months. I felt compelled to write about him as a queer person, which I know is quite broad to say, but I think connecting in the way I did as someone who is queer, um, to sp try and speak to him and try and um, archive this experience as someone who's also had to deal with those feelings of like wanting to take your life and self-harm and I wanted to bring his story forward in some way that so it didn't get lost um, and my second poem uh, a, ga a gallery that snows was actually inspired by a song by Hamza called breathing and it borrows one of the lines of the chorus. And that song originally is about like, um, coming out of like um, a situation, like being able to breathe again um, and like maintaining that kind of sense of mental health. That's what I get from it. Um, but I kind of took it in a different, slightly different direction with mental health in mind, but it was more about how do you deal with how one like deals with breakup or not necessarily deal with but like what are the things that we kind of don't deal with and how do we actually malfunction in those moments. I doubt that every single person in this thing even gives themselves enough credit and I don't reference T-Mobile when I say you've got to get past five days before you can call through and top up. This is for those that need reminding they are amazing before and after that anticipated glow up. Shout out to those that are being enough. You simply living, being, doing, saying is more than enough. Emotions run up against the wall and you tell yourself you are better than yesterday but tears drip down your face, that face. The same sticky cheeks, salted tears, you are familiar with this taste. Some days you need to remind your superhero self it's okay, not to be okay. After so much downpour, thunderstorms of thought travel to the temperament. saint means feelings in French, and as I stand in I and I am feeling all my sentiments. Breathe first, let the storm out, before you pent up, rise up and storm out. Your soul is made from utter gold, that's why you deserve a rainbow, remind yourself you are a beautiful soul. Check why the perceptions hold so much value, life is neutral. 
hand draw upon our vibrations, vibrating as a mindful matter of stating, matter of stating, and we simply hold different opinions to each other, and that's okay. I appreciate you simply stating, check. You need to identify what feels good when you do it, and what feels good when you think about it, and let that be. Allow your focus to unpin for as long as it takes. Allow the universe to deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that is just like that. And through that experience, the universe will respond to your focus and understanding. You will prove to yourself that you are the destiny of your own reality. Her life is supposed to be good for you. And not supposed to, but it will be good for you. Treating others as you wish to be treated, but you mistreat yourself to be a constant service to others. Take time to listen to yourself. Self-care, self-worth, self-love. You can never be selfish. Looking after the person everyone calls so selfless. So why do you give yourself less? But to be more, 10% braver, you owe it to yourself. It's okay to be a late bloomer. You are a rich soil and drink smart, therefore you are a bud wiser. Remember the loveliest flowers always blossom after the storm. I just want to live and laugh. Paint pictures with my paragraphs. Fit right in like camouflage. Find me on the greener grass. No other side, I wonder why. I rewrite lines a hundred times. I rewind time inside my mind to redefine my inner eye. I lost myself a while back. Funny now I smile at. A younger me, no dungarees, was hungry for lunch and treats. Now I want a hundred trees, a bunch of seeds and space to breathe. A piece of peace inside of me, no BFG can read my dreams. We just hit the road, doll. It's getting kind of cold, doll. Warm up the mic, absorb the light. I'm born to fly, I'm airborne. This is not my final transformation, but a rare form. Phone's always on flight mode, I guess that's always their call. I'm missing and declining, yeah, the system's undermining all the poets and the wordsmiths. The herds ain't heard our verses, so rehearse the words and learn this. Turn my verbs and burn the worst bits. Burnt lips, verse this. My notebook's like a furnace, all the heat that I've been birthing. It's about time that I surfaced, catch a Waving and I'll surf it, I deserve it. I've been working on my self and how I'm feeling. Focusing my breathing, I've been coping, I've been dreaming, I've been searching for the reasons why my self doubts like a ceiling made of glass and my arms bleeding. See, my heart is on my sleeve, but you can't read the signs I'm feeling. I was healing like I wasn't sick. Always been an optimist. Yeah, been through a lot of the truth hurts, if I'm honest. This is me, just searching for the light. Flirting with a mic, felt like I was drowning, now I'm sounding like I'm fine. Couldn't find myself for hours going round inside my mind. Acceptance of reflection really mirrors with the times. In the eye of the beholder, I was shown that love is blind. And it's alright to cry sometimes and show the world you're hurting. It's alright to hide sometimes and stay behind the curtains. Cause nobody is perfect, so do what you enjoy. I'm just trying to hear you now, smiling with your voice. Be expressive with your words, learning lessons from the noise. Instead of waiting for your turn, earn some blessings and rejoice. Cause this, this is what I live for. Poets puzzle people picking pieces from a jigsaw. I'm about to pitch my goals, I'm hoping for a big score. Find me in my happy place, I navigate through big storms. Brainstorming hurricanes, rain falling, I'ma take. What is mine and when I shine, I stay aligned and gravitate my greatness. I made this writing lyrics on a late shift. Creating waves to make these wages, pave the way to play on stages. I got friends all on my playlist, making waves, I pray we make it. Be the change to make a statement, no more waiting. Saving all these words up on my eye notes, writing verses with my eyes closed. I know my flow's now worth some recognition. Isn't it ironic 2020 messed the vision? Yeah, I stopped and could have lost myself. My socials feel all distant, now it's different. Wishing on some stars so I can start to make a difference. I haven't made it far, but I know art can go the distance. I've got blisters on my fingers from the things that I've been printing. I've been overthinking thoughts, I've been overthinking more. Now I'm sure this overthinking led to lingering on thoughts. Of course it's going to happen. On course for applause and a tour and some balance. Getting bored of games, I've been searching for the ladders. Stay avoiding snakes, the fakes, and most rappers went from being overlooked to getting booked to new chapters. Never trusted actors or an agency. What's left of the matrix, they're all agents. See, and none of this exists. Or does it? You tell me. Peace out.
Peace in. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Woodsy uh, and I'm one of the Flow Poets. Yeah, so, I mean, I think for everyone it's been kind of a journey. For the first month or so, I was like, oh, this is great, I can just sit at home. Um, but then it was kind of coming to terms with it. And a great avenue for me to kind of tackle my mental health during it was writing and then um, people started doing a lot of kind of Instagram lives and workshops online so that was a great way for me to kind of tackle my mental health during lockdown. I mean the best thing is actually just being able to touch a stage again just for I mean for performers in general just being able to come into a theatre being able to record here and the fact that everyone is going to be talking about mental health and then hopefully by us being able to do our poetry about it people listening will be able to open up about it and then maybe take part in workshops or do some writing of their own and it's just a great thing that we're able to come together and talk about things like this. Yeah, so um, I mean, all three pieces have some inspiration behind them. Um, the first one I wrote during lockdown about kind of what was happening, um, so that was really important. It took me a while to write that piece because at first I was like, I've got all this time, I need to write a piece and I was just forcing it. So I had to wait a little bit and then that piece really came to me. The second piece um, is actually written for my best friend who runs a boxing company. He had a lot of mental health issues and then he got through the other side of it and now he's very successful running a boxing company. So that was the inspiration behind that. And then the third and final piece is just my newest piece. And that's just, I guess, my creative energy coming back. Now we're able to kind of go out and try and do these platforms again. So, yeah. This is my letter to you As I'm writing I hope that the words come true You see from my point of view As soon as I looked in your eyes I knew I'd waited for this moment Was hoping that you had to When you walked in my life And then my heart was stolen I'm frozen, you'd broken through I felt it, did you feel it too? Is there still time for me to change your mind? Cause once I was blind, do you think you could find your way back to me? I should have said it before has never found me till you walked out the door Maybe I did ignore The way that you felt and the future you saw If I could go back in time then I'd find a way to say All the things I wanted to It's all so fresh in my mind The first night you said you'd stay I still threw it all away there's still time for me to change your mind Cause once I was blind, do you think you could find your way back to me? I hope these words find you well Heard you had a new lover, but it didn't work out I also found someone else I thought I'd moved on, but she didn't compare and All this time I loved you, I knew if we met again Said the things I never did Is there still time for me to change your mind? Once I was blind, do you think you could find your way back to me? My name's Hayden Brennan and I'm a 24-year-old singer-songwriter from South London.
The last six months has affected my mental health and well-being uh, quite a lot. Uh, obviously, being a performer and artist and DJ, we've had a lot of stuff taken away. Um, but I think it started off badly and affected me more because obviously life as we knew it had changed. But I think the, one of the great things was adapting and trying to sort of forge new things online uh, via social media and staying connected with friends even though you couldn't see them at the time. Taking part in an event like today is important uh, for me. First of all, because I get to meet so many other cool creative people two meters apart, obviously. Um, but it's great to, again, be in a kind of creative environment um, with like-minded people. Um, I, I, I did the World Mental Health Day last year, which was great as well. So it's nice to see some familiar faces and uh, catch up. And I think it's important that all the Londoners do get to talk about mental health because it's not just, you know, it doesn't affect me specifically compared to someone else, everybody's got their own things going on and it's great to raise awareness. Um, the, the inspiration behind my lyrics and uh, pieces today, I mean, one of the songs I did put out a couple of years ago, it's a favourite of mine, uh, I was going through a bit of a bad breakup at the time and, you know, I wrote the song. Um, but I think, it's, again, for me, it's the case of being able to use my songs as almost like a diary. So I put my feelings and thoughts into music. Uh, that's my outlet, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. In this world, rapidly falling from grace and greatness, we need something to replace this, something to abate this destruction awaited, orchestrated and led by the vacuous ungracious, implementing false mental cages to contain us, they plague us, they played us, deranged us, to the point of believing we're all strangers, look what pain does. Separation enslaved us, from naturally connected to a man-made love, unquestioning compliance in amazement what the maze does, divided by false information, fake conceptualised groups and forced displacement for a materialistic leader's lust of a payment. We've been hushed and rushed into these cages for centuries and ages, conditioned to chase meant to be status and wages. So I say, long live the false courageous. In their glass palaces, so makeshift the paradigm just may shift and lift us out this matrix. From spiritual wasteland to a paradise oasis, I'm so happy I can say this. We really need to share more. We really need to open up, learn to be ourselves again, learn to live in hope and love. We really need to share more. We really need to open up, learn to be ourselves again, learn to live in hope and love. Peace. Hi there, my name's Yossi Goodlink. I'm half of the team behind Right to Speak alongside my best friend and business partner, Tyler Cunningham. We will be delivering a spoken word poetry workshop on the day of World Mental Health Day for Thrive London. Um, we believe that poetry is for everyone and in our workshops we like to give people uh, a way into spoken word poetry and we like to show people that poetry isn't stuck to the traditional formats you think it is. So please come and be a part of this workshop with us. It's going to be really fun and you might realise that you're a secret poet. You can sign up for the workshop by clicking the link in the description below.